I'm at a mini blind and I want to show you something here. This one's got a knot in it. You may say, what's the big deal? Well, the reason why they make mini blinds nowadays with two ends is so that you don't have a child strangle themselves on a mini blind like this. If you get a knot in there like that, some kids are playing around around your mini blinds, your curtains, whatever, and they're playing, some kid could get their head caught in here and could choke to death or anything like that. So I want you to be safe rather than sorry. So anytime you see something like this, I want you to undo those knots. You know? Get all that out of there. And sometimes you have to work on it because they're tighter knots than this one here. Once they get real tight, you might think, ah, that's going to take me forever. But, you know, isn't saving a life worth it? Spending a little extra time undoing these? Okay, that's how they're supposed to be. That's the reason why they only make mini blinds that have two ends to the pull wires, the pull strings, okay? Now you know. One more thing about your blinds, and then I'm going to go. <laughs> you know, these blinds are pretty heavy. Can you open them with your pull strings? Yes, you can. You know, just pull those up however far. Go down there like that and lock it. I don't generally like to do that though. It puts, this is really super heavy. It puts a lot more stress on your blind mechanism and your mounting supports and your screws and all that. I always cringe every time I have this all the way up because there's so much weight because, because to loosen this up, you got them up like that. To loosen it, you've got a, you've got a pull now on this string to unclick it for this here, right? So you're putting that much more pressure on that. Now most times, most blinds will work that way and you're not going to have much of a problem. Alright, but if your screws are loose up there or something like that, get in the habit of just leaving your blinds closed like this. If you want the light in, just twizzle this open. That's all you got to do. You don't have to pull the blinds up and down. And here's another thing. Every time you pull this up, okay, I'm going to pull that up. Now I got all this rope, all this string down on the ground for somebody to trip on, for this to get all tangled up. And usually they have a little, little goodie here on the side where you can wrap this, but you gotta wrap it and wrap it and wrap it and wrap it. How many times have you seen people do that every single time they wanna open their blinds? They leave this cord loose like this, your kids can play in it, they can, they can strangle themselves with that. There's lots of things that can happen with that. So I always like to leave my blinds down like this, Twizzle this open and close. You don't, want it, you don't want light in there? Close them. You know you're on the first floor? Close them like this. You want some light during the day? Just open them. That's all you got to do. Easy greasy.